Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today you guys requested that I teach you guys how to make this 3D text thing. So I'll just show you quick, uh, quite quickly. So first, what we need to get is go to our effects and presets in After Effects and let's just search up a uh, camera. Alright, so it should pop up 3D camera tracker. And it's gonna analyze for a little bit. So yeah, I'll just give it some time and let it analyze the background. All right, so now as you can see, we have these 3D tracked points. And let's say I kind of want the text to be like, uh, maybe over, here okay now to create text in camera and as you see it will create a text now we want to do you can adjust all these but most importantly you need to adjust this first so where it is and we would adjust how high it is and this would adjust the rotation of it all right, so that's a, I think that's straight. So let's say maybe we type Fortnite edit or something. That is a little big, so maybe let's just make that a little smaller. But yeah, let's uh, just make sure we and we can just adjust these manually to make sure that it kind of fits the wall a bit better. And as you can see, I guess it's a little bit, it's kind of what we want. Let's move this over a bit so it's more stuck to the wall. Let's not move the back on. Alright, and back to the text layer. Let's move this down a bit. Now it does show through this rock, but we can kind of fix that by uh, we can make it only appear once it's here. So there is a slightly quicker way of doing it. So once this thing disappears, let's just mark it over here and let's just put an opacity keyframe. around here so this would be zero and maybe around all right maybe around zoom in a few a bit more 12 20 frames later or maybe even just 12 I set this back to 100 so Kind of like that. Now I just realized that I feel like the Z is a bit skewed. Uh, we can kind of use the back as a reference. So I think that's all straight enough. We just line up with the window. So now to make sure that the text is actually like 3D. Alright, now what you want to do is just toggle switches on mode um, and it should give you this motion blur thing. Let's make sure that's on. So we have motion blur on our text first. I think also we can make it stick out a bit. So let's just make sure that it's showing outside. And maybe let's just uh, change the text itself a bit. So maybe let's just make it ultra and we can bold in it. And as you can see, we have a nice text on the side there. Now I think a stroke might look a little better. 
but I think a easy way to do that is just to duplicate this thing. Put one slightly behind it. And let's just change it to black. Alright, and as you can see, if we let's just move this back a little bit, we get a nice drill bonus. And I think we could probably move this down a bit. So, and like this, we get a bit of duty to it. I think that's a really clean and simple way to do a 3D text that's not too difficult because most others you need to do some plugins or some other 3D stuff which I think might be a little complicated for some people. I think this is just a really nice and easy way to do it. I think most of you will be able to do. And you can do multiple in one as well so just feel free to play around with this and get creative. Like I could put something maybe over here with like maybe the song name. Or could have put something on the cliff face down here or here or honestly anywhere you can just put something and it's really up to how you guys how you guys want to use this and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um it was definitely interesting to make and yeah continue providing ideas because uh at the end of the day i really just want to help you guys with your editing so yeah uh, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.